guys what's going on so today we are back on the alpha server and as i promised in the last video i am going to be making more alpha videos so today's video is going to be on the whole new auction house and basically just what that's all about so if you guys don't know if you head over from the spawn of the hub all the way over here and you come down to the auction house there's actually a bit of new stuff over here so as you can see there are these auctions here and these auctions actually aren't player based there's like this weird new auction system called shen's auction and you can actually also enter the regalia room Re regalia room i don't know if i'm saying it right but you can enter this and there are even more items here for purchase so in today's video i'm basically just going to be explaining how everything works and also showcasing some of the new items before we start though if you guys do enjoy this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it really does help me out and we're getting really really close to 9k also i'm going to be doing a 50 million coin giveaway in my discord server at 9k subs so make sure to join that too the link is in the description down below anyways let's get right into the video all right so we're just gonna head down below the auction house here and i'm actually gonna showcase you these three items now based on what's happened in alpha these three items are static meaning that these three items will stay here basically forever now the way these items work is they have a timer and basically you have to bid on the item so let's say over here for the racing helmet i click on it and then i can click the minimum bid of 8 million coins and basically the minimum bid just says you must bid at least this much to be in the top bidders list and basically the top bidders list is the people that actually end up getting the item and as you can see the item actually circles out so right now the item switch from the racing helmet to priceless the fish and also each item has a certain amount of top bidders that wins so for example as you can see here for the artifact of the control it says right here that the top 10 bidders win this item for the pandora's box it's the top 20 bidders for shen's regula it's the top 40 bidders and for the fish it's top five bidders all right so that's basically the gist of shen's auction house so just to explain again basically there's the shen's special item and then these three items on shen's auction are actually static so at least so far on the alpha server these items haven't changed although they can actually change and each of these items end every skyblock day so basically the items refresh every skyblock day and end every skyblock day which is 20 minutes and then there's also shen's special so shen's special actually requires the palatial museum rank just to even be able to bid on this and basically these special shen items come every skyblock year instead of every day so if i can remember correctly i believe a skyblock year is like around five days or so so yeah every five days or so there will be a new special item oh and also i forgot to mention you can actually talk to this person over here named damia and you can just access the uh the auction house through her now as you can see down here there's this emerald saying claim auctions and because i bid on the racing helmet and i actually ended up being the highest bidder i want it so i can just click here and i actually claim it and there's actually additions to these too so keep in mind that on the main server when this comes out you're gonna want to try to be the highest bidder because the first edition of these items will probably go for a lot of coins all right but now let's actually talk about another section of the new auction house and this is the regalia room but there's actually a catch you can't just simply enter the regalia room and i'll show you what happens if you actually try to so if you just try to enter the room you actually can't and it says you must have shen's regalia to enter the room and the way to actually get shen's regalia is just through these auctions so one of the three main items here is the shen's regalia and basically you could just bid on it and you just buy it so again it's just like every other item you could just bid on it as you can see right here it actually shows that i'm the top bid because well i'm the only one that bid on it and after 13 minutes when this auction ends i'll actually be able to claim it now luckily i already have one so i can just use this so basically you need to hold this in your inventory and it just allows you to be warped into the room now so far on alpha there have only been these items and the items here haven't actually changed yet although we're not too sure if the items will actually change there's also shen's agent shen's agent doesn't really say anything too special though he just tells you about the special shen auction item that damia sells but now let's actually go through these brand new items so first off we have the divine gift now the divine gift is probably one of the most overpowered enchants i've ever seen so the divine gift costs 25 million coins and it actually grants two magic funds and as you can see here it just says ends in eight seconds and basically it just refreshes so nothing actually ends as you can see it's just about to end and it literally just refreshes nothing changes so i'm just gonna show you guys you can actually combine these books so as you can see right now my purse is kind of getting drained and there is actually a daily buy limit and by daily it means skyblock day so there is actually a limit per skyblock day to how many items you can buy i'm really not sure why they did this but i mean whatever i guess and as you can see here it shows you what year it is too i'm not really sure why but as you can see if i go slash av i can actually combine these books and the magic find goes up so for divine gift three it gives three magic find 
and you can actually apply to your weapon so as you can see here divine gift three and this is just super op because like imagine a chimera daedalus axe and then you also add divine gift five on top of it you will be absolutely loaded with magic fun all right so next let's go to the special alpha menu so if we go into the menu here, you see that we have quite a few items. Basically, this will just rotate every five days and four hours on the main server, but you can buy everything right away on alpha. So let me actually show you guys what you can buy. First of all, we have the blinking rock skin. It's just a rock skin. I'll buy it and I'll showcase it in a bit. Next up, we have the sus rock skin. Again, just another rock skin. And then we have the surprise rock skin. I don't know why they're leeching so hard off the rock skins, but I guess they really want money out of the economy because next up we have the sweating rock skin and these are all 50 mil. So you can kind of tell that the admins want money out of the economy. But one thing that's actually kind of cool is a rat jet pack. And this basically just upgrades the rat uh, pet to mythic rarity. So I'll showcase that in a bit too. Now, finally, the last item is actually the art of peace. And this is a very, very cool book. It costs 50 million coins and it actually grants 40 health on any armor piece. So I'll just buy a few here just to showcase them too. And yeah, that's basically it for the special items. Now I'm just gonna showcase a few items really quickly. All right, so first let's actually upgrade the rat pet because why not? So let's just go to Kat over here and basically talk to her. Her hitbox is kind of bugged on this mode. But basically, I'll just put in my rat pet. It's only level 30, but as you can see here, 910k coins and a rat jet pack, and it takes an hour to upgrade. So let's just go ahead and give Kat a flower and take our rat, rat pet back. And here we have the mythic rat pet. Now, not much is boosted with the mythic rat pet, but basically you just get this perk called extreme speed where the rat is two times faster. Also, the rat pack gives a ridiculous amount of speed now for some reason, but yeah, you just you just go really fast as you can see. Honestly though, the rat pet really isn't that special. I'll also just showcase the rock pet skins while I'm at it. So here we have this level one rock and hopefully sky tills will allow me to. Okay, so this is the first rock skin. It's sweating. It's actually kind of cool though. It has like a Pepe face. Then here I'll put on the surprise rock skin. Again, it's just a rock skin with a dog face. I don't know why it's even called the surprise rock pet. Here's the sus rock pet skin. It's just a rock with a flower on it. Nothing special. And finally the blinking rock pet skin. It's literally just a rock pet that blinks. Honestly, in my opinion, it's pretty obvious that the admins just want money out of the economy, but I mean, whatever, it's cool. Skin collectors have to spend more money, but why not? Some rock skins. Okay, so while I'm at it, I'll quickly showcase the Art of Peace. It's very simple. You literally just combine it with a chest plate or any armor piece. And as you can see right here, you get 40 health boost. Okay, there are two more items that we need to showcase. First, let's talk about the racing helmet. So the racing helmet actually has an addition and it just says speed plus 400. So it gives you 400 speed. And it says when horses are not fast enough, use a racing helmet instead. And it actually increases your speed cap to 500. So in my opinion, this is super cool. Uh, this is actually a really, really insanely cool item because it just kind of eliminates the need for a young set and now you can only have a helmet and increase your speed cap so yeah this is a really cool item and i really do applaud the admins for it all right so the next item that we're actually going to be talking about is the pandora's box so the pandora's box reads complete challenges to earn stats and level up the pandora's box so basically what you do is you just right click with the box in your hand and it opens this menu with a bunch of challenges. Now, I don't want to go through every single one of these challenges, but basically you just complete the challenges and you gain one health and one strength for every two challenges you complete. And there are 20 challenges. So in total, this item gives you 10 strength and 10 health. And as you can see, like this goes up to really, really hard challenges, like deal exactly 333,333 damage. Beat master mode floor seven of the catacombs with five mages. Like this is really difficult so this item actually has a lot of cool and difficult challenges and it actually ranges everywhere from early game to end game so yeah again another really really cool item and the final item is the artifact of control this is very very simple basically it just says holding this artifact will grant you two times voting power in mayor elections so i mean it's not the craziest item or anything but it is quite a cool addition people that have it just have more power with mayors and voting elections but yeah, that's basically it for this video. I think I've covered absolutely everything when it comes to Shen's auction and every item. And yeah, sorry if this video was a little bit longer than the usual videos. I just wanted to really, really cover everything in depth and really, really make sure that everyone understands what's going on with this new auction system because it could be quite complicated and confusing for people. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this new system in the comments down below. Personally, I think that lots of these items are kind of useless and are just to get inflation out of the economy. But other items are very, very cool and actually are kind of useful. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.
Have a good night, guys.